Hello, in this video we will make a Swiss workflow overview. So, open a Swiss workflow and enter your credentials. These credentials you got in the email that is called step one. Then click login. Mind that if you have more than one body shops connected to your account, you will see the list of the body shops and choose the one you are willing to manage. After entering the credentials, we see the s workflow, and this is the main tab. What do we have here? Click this icon. Here we have change company, as I mentioned before, to change the body shops, settings, about, cameras, that is made to connect to your stuff by a video phone, then force update to update program version, log out and quit. Here we have a search field. Uh, you can start entering VIN number or make, model, maybe customer's details to find the necessary case. Then body tags, estimators and painters, that is your stuff. Click to see the, to see the names and the other stuff. So next, here we have filters that essence body shop finding process, then calls and messages. Mind that these two functions work only if you have integration with asterisk. Click here to see the income calls and here to see the messages that you got from the customers. Mind that unanswered messages are marked with bright color. Here we have the cases with the photos. If you want to hide them, to hide the photos, click here and then to see them also here. Then waiting statuses. Here we see waiting for shop issues, waiting for estimators assignment and so on. And these buttons to move to scroll the workflow. And the last icon, last but not least, it is to reload all the cases. So now let's uh, turn to our main window. And what do I have here? We have the buckets. Opportunities, drop off, tear down, estimating body, and so on. So buckets, uh, they are repair stages. Click the bucket to open the case. Let it be body. We see that in body we have two cases. So this is the case. The one case, it is a job created by the insurance company and imported into Estus automatically. It gives you vehicle and owner info, contains invoices, estimates, uploaded photos and authorizations. So here we see the photo of the vehicle, um, then um, year, and the model, the number, customer info, and claim number. Actually, there are more details and we will speak about them in the next videos. So I guess that was all on s workflow overview. So thank you for your attention and goodbye.